Good evening. So congratulations, India is trending on Twitter and there are bound to be celebrations in some TV news channels today because Riyad Chakrabarti has finally been arrested. So many people in TV studios at any rate are going to be declaring victory as a result of that. She's been arrested by the NCP and this is obviously on drugs related charges but, uh, and it's not very clear what. Was it consumption of drugs or providing it to Sushant Singh Raj? It's not very clear what actually they were arrested her for but it's to do with drugs and nothing yet has been found or proven um, when it comes to the death of Sushant Singh Rajput, whether it was a murder or a suicide or a victim to suicide or any other charges. But on drugs related charges, Riyad Chakrabarti was arrested today by the NCP and that's the reason why um, there's going to be exaltation. Um, but if you don't mind, I, I would like to talk about something slightly different, which I believe is a bit more important today because shots were fired at the line of actual control between India and China last night. And this is particularly significant because I think the last time it happened was decades ago. These shots, fortunately, don't appear to have been fired at soldiers on either side. They were fired in the air, but it was an indication of how the situation on the line of actual control is actually escalating. Now, you will recall, of course, that at the time of Galwan, when, when all of that violence took place and 20 Indian soldiers and an unknown number of Chinese soldiers were killed in Galwan, no shots were fired that time because clubs were used and other people were pushed. It was like a, like, almost like a medieval jousting match that took place. Um, there's been a protocol for a period of time that guns will not actually be used and shots will not be fired. Those uh, protocols now seem to be a thing of the past. Now, yesterday, when the reports first came in of these shots being fired, the Chinese side came out in a very aggressive manner, saying that India did it and they opened fire. And a somewhat comical global time, which is, of course, a, 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 a very obvious propaganda mouthpiece for the, for the Chinese government, made all sorts of lurid threats against India and said, don't cross lines. And the Indian side later uh, also came up with its side, side of the story and saying that look, first the Chinese fired warning shots in the air and it's still not clear whether the Indian side fired in the air or not also after. All they fired in the air right now not at each other. But this clearly indicates, look, that India is not right now in a position to step back at all and allow China to have its way. Along the, uh, the positions on the on South Pansong, uh, whether it's Rizangla, whether it's Black Top, whether it's the Mother Hill, there's an eyeball to eyeball confrontation that is taking place between Indian soldiers and Chinese soldiers. The possibility for escalation is there, the possibility for an error is there, the possibility for one person to actually fire a shot at someone on the other side and that leading to escalation is always there. So it is a serious situation and that's did want to talk about that and not only about the other. Here are the big headlines today. The Narcotics Control Bureau arrested actress and Sushant Singh Rajput's girlfriend Rhea Chakrabarti on Tuesday under various sections of the NDPS Act. Reports are Rhea will now be taken for a medical test in Mumbai and will be produced before the court on Wednesday. NCB last week arrested Rhea's brother Shavik Chakrabarti, Sushant's house manager Samuel Miranda and Cook Depesh in connection to the alleged drug nexus. Chakrabarti's lawyer Satish Manishinde has condemned her arrest by the Narcotics Control Bureau on Tuesday in drug angle probe linked to actor Sushant Singh Rajput's death. Calling Rhea's arrest a travesty of justice, Manishinde said that the actress was being punished for being in love with a drug addict who was suffering from mental health issues for several years and died by suicide due to consumption of illegally administered medicines and drugs. Late actor Sushant Singh Rajput's sister Shweta Singh Kirti has reacted to Rhea Chakrabarti's arrest by the Narcotics Control Bureau. Reacting to the news, Shweta took to Twitter and wrote, God is with us. The Narcotics Bureau, who is probing the drug's connection to Sushant Singh Rajput's death case, arrested Rhea after three days of interrogation with several charges under the NPDS Acts. India has denied firing of shots at the line of actual control where the Indian and Chinese troops have been engaged in a standoff for over three months. In a statement, the Indian Army said on the 7th of September, PLA troops were attempting to close in on one of India's forward positions along the line of actual control and when disobeyed, PLA troops fired a few rounds in the air to intimidate their own troops. 
India said while it is committed to disengagement and de-escalating situation on the LAC, China continues to undertake provocative activities to escalate. India reiterated that at no stage has the Indian Army transgressed across the LAC or resorted to use of any aggressive means including firing. India said it is the PLA that has been blatantly violating agreements and carrying out aggressive maneuvers, while engagement at military, diplomatic and political level is in progress. The statement added, despite grave provocation, Indian troops exercised great restraint and behaved in a mature and responsible manner. The India-China crisis seems to be intensifying at the border near Ladakh despite multiple rounds of military and diplomatic dialogue. Days after a series of provocative actions at the LAC by the Chinese army, China has claimed that Indian soldiers fired warning shots after crossing the line of actual control in the south bank of Pangong Lake in Ladakh on Monday. The clarification comes after the Chinese Ministry of Defense put out a statement saying that there was an instance where shots were fired in presence of the People's Liberation Army. Reports quoting Indian Army sources said warning shots were fired after Chinese soldiers fired at Indian positions and there was limited exchange. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, meanwhile, met his Chinese counterpart in Moscow on the sidelines of the Shanghai Cooperation Organisation meet to discuss the ongoing standoff. Union Minister Kiran Rijiju said on Tuesday that China's People's Liberation Army has confirmed that five youths missing from Arunachal Pradesh have been found by them and their handing over process to Indian authorities is being worked out. The five tribal youths had gone missing on Friday from the China-India border in the Upper Subhansiri district of Arunachal Pradesh. Chinese Foreign Ministry had on Monday said that it was not aware of any kidnappings after Rijiju claimed that the Indian Army had sent a hotline message to PLA to bring back the abductees. A single-day spike of 75,809 new COVID-19 cases and 1,133 deaths reported in India in the last 24 hours, as per data from the Union Health Ministry on Tuesday. India's total case tally stands at 42,80,422, including over 8.8 .8 lakh active cases and 33 lakh people cured. In terms of testing numbers, India has conducted more than 5 crore total tests so far and has been consistently conducting more than a million tests over the last week. Deaths, however, have been over 1k daily for seven days in a row. 423 deaths have been from Maharashtra alone. The Delhi High Court on Tuesday ordered that doctors' prescription will not be mandatory from now on for those going voluntarily for RT-PCR tests to detect COVID-19 infection in the national capital. A bench of Justices Hima Kohli and Subramanian Prasad said people need to carry Aadhaar card for Delhi address proof and fill up a form as prescribed by the Indian Council of Medical Research to get tested. So far, it was mandatory for a person to have a doctor's prescription or show symptoms to get tested for the virus. Considering a sharp increase in the number of cases in Delhi, the court asked private laboratories to allow 2,000 COVID-19 tests a day for voluntarily screening. Capacity of around 12,000 tests per day is available with the Delhi government, it noted. The National Investigation Agency on Monday arrested two Kabir Kalamanch activists in the 2018 Elgar Parishad case. Sagar Gorke and Ramesh Gaichor are among the 14 people who have courted arrests. Tushar Damgade, who had filed the complaint against them in January 2018 with Pune police, had named six people in the FIR for allegedly trying to incite violence between Dalits and Marathis by making provocative speeches at the Elgar Parishad event held on December 31, 2017. While the NIA has alleged that the members were in touch with the Naxals, both the activists in a video recorded on September 5 claimed that the Central Probe Agency had been forcing them to either become witnesses or face arrest. Senior BJP leader Devendra Fadnavis on Tuesday condemned the remarks made by actress Kangana Ranaut about the Mumbai police in the context of actor Sushant Singh Rajput's death case. The former Maharashtra chief minister said her comments amounted to insult of the police force. Ranaut had recently said that she feared Mumbai police more than the movie Mafia and would prefer security either from Himachal Pradesh or the centre. Speaking on the floor of the Legislative Assembly, the leader of opposition said he knew the capacity of the Mumbai police since he had served as the chief minister of the state for five years.